Tigri was actually diagnosed with cancer about eight months before we started fostering. She was diagnosed with cervical cancer, and we tried for 10 years to have children. So she had to have a full hysterectomy, and we didn't know what to do. My Facebook memories in June show my hysterectomy, and it's it was like immediately we had three children within the year. We were looking for a child under eight, and then they lost in just for three, and we laughed. And we, we laughed about it. <laughs> we'll never have three children. <laughs> and then they were talking about teenagers. I said, we'll never have a teenager. Yeah. And here we are with three kids and a teenager. She's been fun. She's been a lot of fun. We chose Neko for our partner to foster. We reached out to Neko, and it was great. They were easy, smooth. Anytime that we text, call, Lauren has been great. She's right there with us. Neko has supported us in our foster parenting journey. I can text her pretty much any time of the day. And sometimes it's not anything important. It can just be venting about a situation. My favorite memory with my children, I would say for Eli, would be the first day that we picked him up from preschool because I feel like just him having somebody to run to at the end of the day when everybody else has a mom and a dad. And the very first time that he ran to me from preschool was pretty cool for him to acknowledge that I was his parent and that he had somebody. And then I would say for Alta, when we started her in karate, it's kind of the same because you know all the other kids have parents in the audience and the first time that she realized that we were there and she started smiling. And so now Debbie, um, we've only had her for three weeks and she just started school, but she tried on her JROTC outfit yes yesterday. And so she's really excited for us to be a part of that and get to watch her. If I can give anybody any advice, a sturdy fostering would be do it. Do your research, pay attention to the classes, it's definitely needed. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. I would say my advice for fostering would be to just have patience and not everything is going to happen overnight. And it's fine, you just pick your battles. We laugh a lot of things off and you just go on. I feel like our lives have just, we get to go to the circus now, we, get, we went to the fair. And with kids, I just feel like it makes it so much more exciting. I feel like before children, we were just in the same routine every day. And now we have children that we get to wake up and they come peter-pattering across the floor and they want pancakes and chocolate milk. And I just feel like our lives, it's chaotic, but in a positive way. The first that we got to experience was with Eli. He lost a few of his teeth for the first time. So the tooth fairy, and I don't know that he had ever been trick-or-treating. We took him trick-or-treating last October. I know Alta hasn't been to the zoo, so she's excited to go to the zoo. Um, I don't think any of the kids have been to Dollywood. I pray a lot. I have prayed a lot since I had cervical cancer, and that's part of what led us to our journey is I just had to make the decision when I had my hysterectomy, that was a choice, I didn't have to have one, that whatever is meant to happen in life happens. And if I would have never had a hysterectomy, I would have never had my children. And that is sad to even think about that I would have never got to meet them. I would say that fostering with Neko has changed our lives positively. And I know this probably sounds cliche, but I didn't realize that we needed that kind of love. They make us whole. So for me, home is just the feeling of being complete. 